So, what is C language? C is a procedural programming language. It was initially developed by Denise Ritchie in the year 1972. It was named C because many of its features were derived from an earlier language called B. It was mainly developed as a system programming language to write an operating system. This is history of C language. In 1967, a new computer programming language was announced called as BCPL, which stands for Basic Combined Programming Language. BCPL was designed and developed by Martin Richards, especially for writing system software. This was the era of programming languages. Just after three years, in 1970, a new programming language called B was introduced by Ken Thompson that contained multiple features of BCPL. In 1972, a great computer scientist, Denise Ritchie, created a new programming language called C at the Bell Laboratories. It was created from Argol, BCPL and B programming languages. C programming language contains all the features of these languages and many more additional concepts that make it unique from other languages. Languages such as C++, Java are developed from C. These languages are widely used in various technologies. Thus, C forms a base for many other languages that are currently in use. Features of C language It is simple, portable, middle-level, structured, rich library, recursion, extensible, fast speed, memory management, and pointers. Applications of C language It can be used for operating system such as Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, and also Symbian OS. Other than that, it can be used for database management system. C language also is a language compilers or interpreters, and also it can be used for desktop applications. After that, C language also can be used for embedded system and assemblies. So, how C programming language works? C is a compiled language. A compiler is a special tool that compiles the program and converts it into the object file which is machine readable. After the compilation process, the linker will combine different object files and create a single executable file to run the program. Figure below shows the basic structure of a C program. These are the structure of a C program. The first one we have documentation section. This section consists of a set of common lines which provides the details about the name and purpose of the program. The second one is link section. It provides instruction to the C compiler to link function from the system library. The third one is definition section. This section is mainly used to define all symbolic constant. After that, we have global declaration section. The variable which are defined outside the main as well as user-defined functions are called global variables. After that, we also have main function section. It is the most important function and must be present in every C program. The execution of a C program begins with the main function. We also have sub-program section. 
This section contains all the user defined functions that are called in the main function. Why we have to learn C language? C is a base language for many programming languages. So, learning C as the main language will play an important role while studying other programming languages. It shares the same concepts such as data types, operators, control segment, and many more. C can be used widely in various applications. It is simple language and provides faster execution. Other than that, there are many jobs available for a C developer in the current market. C is a structured programming language makes things easy for testing, maintaining, and debugging processes. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.